hello everyone in this session i'm going to start chapter two because in the last session we did uh, this chapter one now. so in chapter two first we'll talk about the different options in hvc industry like a consultant contractor etc then we'll talk about the different uh, types of drawing and we'll discuss uh, how this uh, process uh, in actual practice for the designing point of view as well as for installation point of view and we'll also discuss about the other services uh, in this in this process and who is architect and who is consultant who is a contracting company etc all this we'll discuss so especially if you are a beginner this session is very very important for you to understand the process for this building industry okay and the steps involved in hvc designing and the steps involved in hvc installation okay so if you are experienced then uh, you know all this process because you're already working maybe you're working in a consultant side or maybe you're working in a contacting site so you may know this uh, process but if you are a beginner this is very very important for you so that you will get the mindset means you can understand what will be your role as a design engineer and what will be your role as a site engineer if you're working in a consultant site or in a contacting site for design for execution etc so let me proceed uh, i'm going to share the screen so here on screen you can read chapter two so chapter two is about uh, the hvc industry overview or i can say the building services how this uh, process in actual practice okay so now in market uh, you'll find the bim process building information modeling so that BIM process uh, we'll discuss in uh, some other day. At this level, let me start with the very basic. We'll try to understand the terms and terminology, uh, the different types of uh, company, the different types of layouts, nothing but the drawings, etc. If you already, uh, if you are already working in this industry, you know about the consultant. Okay, but for beginners, you see generally con consultant refers to this uh, design site. Okay. So again, in a consultant also, you'll find this uh, client consultant or design consultant. Hmm. Uh, at this level, I'm not going in, in detail. Hmm. Just I'm trying to give uh, the basic idea. So the detail about the process uh, also will discuss. But at this level, first of all, let me give you the brief idea about the process. Okay. So in consultant, uh, you'll find two options. One is a owner consultant and the second is a design consultant. Or I can say the main consultant or the design consultant okay so we'll discuss more about this so what are the departments in the consultant so here i've given the list just to get the quick idea at this level okay so at this level if you're not getting the idea so don't worry let me proceed uh, when we talk about the steps involved in designing or the con this installation site you'll get more idea so what are the departments or what are the sections in the consultant site so you'll find the sales department so from which uh, they can uh, means the company can get the project then you'll find the designing department then you'll find the drafting if it is a big company or else you can go for a designing and drafting in one one division next supervision and the q and qc and q and qc this is for the design side not for the not uh, not for the installation point of view because consultant means they are not on site they're dealing with with the design point of view i'm talking about the design consultant okay Next, if you talk about the contractors or the contracting company, you'll find the sales division, then the purchases, then design review division, and then this uh, drafting for uh, preparing the shop drawing because the contractor will prepare the shop drawing. You see, in actual practice, uh, you'll find the different options. You may find the design and build project. If the, if, if the design and build project means uh, one main consultant will take the responsibility. At this level, assume that I'm considering a separate consultant company and separate contracting company. It can be a one company who's taking care of, of all this. Because you see, uh, in actual practice, if you're working in, uh, say, Qatar or in, in a, any, any country, and if you're dealing with a big project, uh, you may find one company dealing with all, or it can, can be a different, different company. So in actual practice, you'll find the multiple option. So don't get confused. At this level, just try to focus on the concept. So here in contacting also, you'll find the sales, purchase, the design, drafting, execution, supervision, and QAQC. And you see this execution in the contacting side and here in designing in the consultant side. Okay, because generally consultant refers to the design side. I'm talking about a design consultant and the contacting refers to the installation execution side. Okay, again, in that contacting company, you'll find the subcontractors. So it's, it's a big process for big project. For small project, the, the things are not that much complicated. 
So we'll try to understand the process of this, uh, this services or this uh, designing and the uh, execution uh, in actual practice in this session. Similarly, you'll find the separate maintenance company or uh, the contacting company where may take the maintenance or generally in actual practice, the contractor who complete the job or who complete this uh, installation will take care for this maintenance also. Okay, like uh, three years maintenance or five years maintenance, they need to provide that maintenance uh, as a part of their uh, uh, the project scope. Or it can be a separate maintenance company that includes again sales division, purchase division, service cleaning, etc. Okay, so this is just to get the idea. Uh, no need to write, I'll share you these notes. Just focus uh, <clears throat> on screen. If any additional points, I'll inform you to write. Just focus and try to understand the, the process. So now we'll discuss how this HVC project executes in actual practice. Because in this training program, we bother about this HVC service now. So I'll my focus is uh, on the HVC system. Apart from this, uh, I'll give you the idea about the other services also for coordination is required. But at, at present, as per this course syllabus, uh, my intention or my focus in is on the HVC system. So first we'll discuss the design steps or the design procedure in for the HVC side in actual practice. Okay. So if you talk about the designing the HVC system and you see this process is similar even for other services. At this level, here I'm focusing on for HVAC, but even for other services also, you can consider the similar process with uh, some with few changes. So you see the first is a client in the list. So client means whom? You see, you can call client, you can call customer, you can call owner, etc. Client who means uh, who give a project for execution. Yes. So who required to initialize the project now? So assume that you are the client and you are interested to construct a villa or a or a high-rise building, whatever, or a hotel or a school, etc. So assume that you are the client. Okay. So as a client, uh, in actual practice, to whom you are going to contact to get this information or to start the project? Architect. Yes. And who is the architect? Architect means. Uh, uh, who design the design, to design the building building design no i i don't think who's doing a space planning you see here we can say architect or we can say the main consultant okay yeah. Or I can say this owner consultant. Generally, for a small project, we can say architect because architect will take care for overall building planning and design. But it not mean that he will he will design the HV system, he will design the plumbing, fire fitting system, etc. No, but he will take care for overall planning of the building, the idea. So, if you talk about this uh, main consultant or uh, say owner consultant, in that you may find the different engineers, including the architect or a senior mechanical engineer or a senior electrical engineer. So initially, the arch under architect, you'll find all this because uh, architect is not just a civil engineer. He is taking care for including the services also, means the overall planning of the building. And if you talk about this uh, in engineering also, if you talk about this uh, B arc compared with the B tech civil or mechanical, B arc is uh, not four years, it's uh, four plus years, you know, nearly five years. And they are, they are, they are going to learn this uh, civil side and also this building services, means they know the overall picture of the building, including the services. So they can able to coordinate with the services and initially they can initialize the project. Okay, so generally we can as a client we can contact to the architect or we can i can say the main consultant in actual practice for big project for a small project you can contact to the architect and he will initialize the project and he will prepare the architectural layout including this uh, structure at the initial stage like a uh, concept drawing and with that uh, he can float that to the uh, to the consult to the sub consultant who is taking care for different services so in actual practice you may find a separate sub consultant for different different services or you may find a one consultant taking care for all the services so in actual practice you'll find multiple options so you may find the separate sub consultant or you'll find one main consultant again in consultant we have a design consultant we have a main consultant so a design consultant uh, basically is for for designing point of view but main consultant will take the the complete responsibility for big projects so at this level i'm considering architect but if it is a big project you can consider the main consultant or the owner consultant okay getting a point online Yes, yes. Just, just try to visualize the process and try to visualize the concept hmm. because in actual practice, as per the type of project, this, this process may vary. For very small project, we don't take for all this thing. One engineer will take care for, for all this. Okay. Or for a small project, uh, like in India, 
we don't require a separate designing for plumbing the plumber will take care of this so the the options will change accordingly as per the type of project or uh, the size of the size of the project or location etc so here what we are discussing is a standard process so you see as a client you are going to contact to the to the architect or to the to the main consultant and who will take care for overall planning of the building okay and after that you see this architect he will provide that architectural layout so he will prepare the architect architectural layouts initially a rough sketches not in detail and he will provide this information to the different services or to the different sub consultant or one consultant may have all this so you see these are the different services the the firefighting system electrical system hv system structure again you see structure based on the load of the services and you find some other consultant for for this security side or for elevators for accelerators etc so this is this is for the design point of view so we have some important points to discuss you see design for the or design of the large building project is an extremely complex task it's not easy why the re the main reason is what because you'll find n number of services and if it is big project means it's not easy because of coordination uh, issues so you see design of a large project so you see design of a large uh, building project is an extremely complex task it may take months or even years and to complete and may involve n number of engineers but if you talk about a design of a small project one engineer or two engineer can take care of this next further you see the design for the hv system because he at this level we bother about the hv you know so directly in the notes you'll find related to hv but again if you are dealing with other services the case is similar but here the design of hv system for large project is a responsibility of whom the consultant company who is taking care for this hvac or it can be a consultant taking care for all the services or specifically for the hvac at this level we are talking about hvc so that says and have written this hvac consultant company okay so remember the design will take care by the consultant and uh, the installation is going to take care by the contractor or if if we, if you talk about the main contractor the main contractor may take the responsibility of both that is called design and build project okay at this level i'm just considering this as a separate separate if it is a main contracting company the case is different for big projects so you in actual practice you may find that options also okay so don't get confused at this level just try to understand as a separate separate uh, separate consultant separate and uh, contracting separate so here the reason for the hv system for large uh, large building project uh, is a responsibility of a hvc consultant company consultant engineers may also carry out such uh, other duties such as what cost estimation and field supervision on site uh, they will supervise also but it not mean that they will uh, involved in the installation the installation part will take care by the contractor or again you may find the subcontractor okay. uh, next you see each of these tasks is performed in cooperation with whom architect as we discuss or we can we can call the main consultant or in in uh, in design and build project you can consider the main contractor who carry out the overall building planning and design and the next point is very very important coordination between the architect and the services and in between the services is very important and difficult task and if any error in the coordination will give you the disaster result for example if you talk about design site in design before uh, completing this electrical design if the hvc people complete the design so then then what will happen i'm talking about this say uh, this uh, placement of a terminals uh, duct routing etc before this electrical so what what issue will arise you saw line i mean electrical services are above the you know octane and all this you see one example uh even the beginner also can can relate this hmm. so everyone knows the light fixtures right the light fixture you'll find in the false ceiling no? just i'm saying taking simple example so that even the uh beginners can relate so everyone know this light fixture right so for, for example here is a plan in that these are the locations for the light fixture hmm. and if this information is not aware by this hvc design engineer what will happen they may utilize this space for placing the a terminals like diffusers mm. so what will happen in drawing it's possible but in actual practice in one location and the, the side the ceiling at the fall ceiling you cannot place the two different uh, uh, components 
right this is one example simple example so that you can you can relate so the coordination is required even in design also definitely is required at the time of installation that is that is very important but even at the time of designing the coordination is must and for that we have a bim process and for that we have advanced softwares like uh, revit anyhow this course is not for revit uh, revit we are offering as a separate course and uh, if you think that i'm promoting revit uh, you're not completely wrong so i'm promoting the revit because uh, now in market uh, maximum uh, the big consultant or many countries uh, they're using this revit software because revit work on the bim concept especially for this uh, coordination point of view it's a very uh, advanced process okay so in in some in some class we'll talk about that bim concept next so coordination is very very important at the time of design stage as well as at the time of uh, installation at this level we are talking about the design side next you see the steps involved in hvac because here we in this training program we bother about the hvc you know so we'll discuss the steps involved in the hvc designing so that uh, at the time of designing also these steps will help you and uh, this can this can be asked at the time of interview also very uh, basic question so if you are applying for a design engineer you can can expect this question the steps involved in the hvc designing and that two in order so here the first step is a building survey but you see all these services can design after what after getting the architectural layout only no initially yes. if you talk about uh, initially if you talk about the concept drawing or concept stage or very initial stage that case is different but again for example if the design consultant want to design any service the reference is what the architectural layout because all the services for what for for designing and installing for the building no? so the architectural layout the building layouts are required so just assume that the architectural layouts are ready so when we get as a design engineer working in a consultant for the hvc site the first step is what you see building survey and we have a separate chapter for building survey which is a uh, chapter number six after completing this uh, basics up to chapter five you'll find all the basic and which is also very very important but the designing part start from chapter six and that is building survey so in building survey we are going to extract the information from the architectural layout from the electrical uh, service and from the different uh, so from the different people and we'll prepare a file called input file and based on that we can start the load calculation and based on that only we can able to select the type of system so at this level you may not get some this terminology if you're a beginner but don't worry we have a separate uh, chapter for all the steps at this level just i'm giving the idea so that you can uh, get the mindset ha huh. Uh, these are the steps for the designing and later if I ex when i expand this uh, steps you'll get the clear idea so at this level building survey it not mean that land survey or level survey that le land survey level survey will take care uh, by, by the civil people but as a mechanical or electrical engineer building survey refers to extracting the information from the architectural layout uh, and uh, understanding the requirement for the for the building getting the inform input from the from the client from the other in uh, services to prepare uh, a list of uh, information that is called input file based on that we can start the designing for the service and this is very very important because you see nothing is fixed in actual practice hmm. suppose if you're working in a consultant as a design engineer suppose one time you may you may get the project related to uh, say application as school hmm. next time you may get uh, say say office project Hmm. or or as you may involve in any industrial industrial uh, project so what do you think the requirement for this different application is going to be same or different 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 no? so that says in extracting the information is required then only you can able to design as per the application or the project or client or location or authority requirement right so that's the reason this building service is important we have total 17 points to discuss in detail in chapter 6 next based on that we can Think for selecting the system you see don't get confused here equipment selection and system selection both are not same system selection means selecting the type of system which suits the building requirement or the client requirement that client requirement I'm, means i'm talking about the budget point of view or the architectural requirement interior requirement etc and selecting system is not just a technical part you need to consider this uh, other people requirement also and here system selection refers to for example suppose assume that you you got a very small villa project so in the small pro villa project we are not going to suggest chill water system 
at this level you may not know what is chill water system so at this level you see chill water system is generally for big project for small project you are going to suggest what window or split okay window yeah. okay you know you forget about the window window is not a standard so you may you may suggest the split system or you may suggest VRV, the, system. Uh, VRV system or uh, package or ductable you will not suggest for the chill water system uh, chill water system also available with the 15 tr capacity in special cases one can use but generally for small villa project nobody will install this chill water system we have other we have other and easy we have other option which is uh, budget budget friendly and uh, space friendly okay so system selection means based on this based on the building survey as per the architectural requirement or the application requirement or the client uh, budget interior requirement etc will select the system is best suitable for the particular type of project so we are going to suggest but again final decision depend on the architect as well as uh, the client also uh, as per the requirement so so based on the building survey we'll deal with the selection of system and you see for selection of system you must know the knowledge of the different systems now and for that we have chapter number five in chapter number five we'll discuss the different types of system right from window to chill water system including the air cold water cold vrf package ductable etc so basically the system is divided into uh, three category one is a dx system second is a chill water system and third is a all air system again all air system can be a part of a dx system can be a part of a chill water system or else um, widely if you uh, classify means you'll find two system one is a dx and second is a chill water system apart from this you'll find this radiant type or radiant cooling some advanced option also but what is commonly used in mar in market dx and a chill water system next we have the lengthy part and important load calculation and you see in load calculation we'll find the cooling load calculation as well as the heating load calculation cooling load calculation for summer heating load calculations for winter and uh, as per the syllabus first we'll deal with the manual cooling load calculation then e20 chart then e20 excel then we'll start the software calculation and as per the syllabus i'm offering hap carrier have you may find the list of softwares for for the load calculation the list I'll, I'll provide but as per the syllabus i'm offering carrier hap and this is a important and lengthy part of the syllabus and this i'm considering i'm just considering this in a two part you see basic is part one and uh, manual load calculation is part two and software load calculation is part three so only this load calculation consists of two parts in the syllabus in module one and it's lengthy very very important and based on this load calculation only we can think to deal with the equipment selection hmm. so what is the difference between system selection and equipment selection any idea any guess yes, system selection means uh, which system is provided by smaller smaller equipment yes. like for example uh, huh, right. like a uh, split ac then what about equipment selection Equipment selection, um, like uh, you see. You see. air handling unit. Uh, so here, the, uh, you the, see, the don't uh, don't get confused. Equipment selection means of the selected system, hmm. yes, sir, based yes, on the based on the uh, results, uh, based on the results, what we are going to get in the load calculation. For example, initially I decide to go with the split system for a small villa project okay so what what i did i just decide how huh, this system i'm going to use but what capacity of that system base you'll get capacity in the load calculation yes sir. after I'm load calculation uh, after load calculation we'll do the equipment selection of the selected system yes, sir. okay so selection system is just we are deciding how huh, we are going to use that system but actual selection is going to be after getting the required capacity based on the load calculation that we used to call equipment selection Okay, yes. under equipment selection, you'll find this AHA selection or a package if it is a package or chill water system, whatever. So based on the capacity, using the catalog from the vendor uh, in in a consultant side. Again, in the contracting side, the actual selection and the actual model number uh, will take care. Again, some little the process that we'll discuss later. Next, you see, if you talk about eight side, we have uh, eight distribution design. Uh, if it is a central air conditioning system you'll find this ducting also so you'll not find the ducting for the split or for uh, 
small unit but if it is a duct table or if it is a chill water system you'll find you need to design separate heat distribution side also that includes uh, duct designing this uh, terminal selection fan selection I have given only the 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 major points again in that you'll find the the list of option to discuss so in short that part i am considering as a, a distribution design that includes uh, the different methods for duct designing and different material for the duct different types of a terminal and uh, we have a separate uh, calculation for the ducting with the manual chart and table or using a uh, uh, duct sizer most commonly mcwit duct sizer in actual practice or else you can use any duct sizer the result is going to be almost same or this uh, terminal selection again terminal selection with the manual catalog or with the electronic catalog from the vendor then fan selection very very important in that we will find the term called esp calculation very important for interview point of view all this will design in the air side next if it is a chill water system for example at the time of after building survey if you decide for the chill water system chill water system is it can be air cooled system or it can be water cooled system for that you we require this chill water pipe designing okay so you see if you talk about this designing uh this designing is divided into three major classification one is a load calculation second is a air system design and third is a water system design and water system design is for chillers only not for uh, dx system okay and if you talk about the vrf uh, then separate vrf pipe sizing hmm. that that also will discuss you can consider this uh, ductable split as a dx system or split system as a dx system even vrf also a dx system direct expansion okay and the chill water uh, air cool and water cool comes under chill water system but don't worry if anyone don't know the difference uh, of the system we'll discuss in detail in chapter five you see in one class you cannot learn all these things so you may not uh, if if someone is beginner you may not get the terms and terminology or else even experienced people may get confusion because you see in some locations the terms and terminology is different okay in actual practice uh, based on the location also this terms and terminology will change okay so don't get confused we'll discuss in chapter five now, so this chill water pipe designing also very important and for entry point of view also very very important and generally for big projects you'll find chill water system in that you'll find the pipe designing with the velocity method with the pressure method etc which i've given at the at the starting session in the, in the syllabus so i'll not i'll not repeat that one because we have a separate uh, part for this chill water uh, sizing part actually it's a part five you see part four is a uh, air site in designing a model one and part five is a chill water site fitting and uh, accessories so uh, we used to call uh, pile package or hookups then pump selection very very important uh, for uh, design uh, for design point of view then apart from this you'll find this control system design i'm talking about the bms which is not included in the syllabus i'll give you just a uh, theory of bms but uh, not in the in the syllabus um, which is also required generally this will take care by this uh, electrical paper or this uh, instrumentation engineers etc this bms part means control system next planning the location of each piece of equipment in the building okay so these are the steps for the hvc designing and each and every step will expand in detail in the future in the next classes okay so at this level just to get the idea for the sequence of designing okay so the major the major the major part is what load calculation aid site and the water site okay and load calculation is common for any equipment if it is a dx system or if it can be a chill water system we require the load calculation mm. but this chill water this uh, this ducting and uh, chill water is for central air conditioning system and chill water specifically for air cooling and water cooled chillers next so next we'll talk about the installing the HV system but before this we'll talk about the types of drawing again this is also very basic to understand the terms and terminology mm. and these types of drawing this general drawings is common for all the services including the architectural and structural side okay but before this uh, do you know the difference between architectural and structural side online anyone this architectural and structural <laughs> yes so if if someone don't know please make a note a request to maintain a separate turning notes also so i'll give you some few points which is which which is not in the notes so you can write uh, you see as a mechanical or electrical engineer dealing with the services you should have some basic of this uh, this uh, civil side also so you can write uh, architecture includes walls comma doors comma windows 
and planning of spaces this i'm giving in short walls comma doors comma windows and planning of spaces so you'll find n number of options in actor just i'm giving the main points next next you can write structural includes footings footing means the foundation of the building comma slab comma beams and columns see which bear the load of the building which bear the load of the building including mechanical and electrical equipments which will bear the load of the building including electrical and mechanical equipments so you see that's the reason the structure again will update after completing this uh, mechanical and electrical services based on the load of the equipment for example in a, in a project if you want to place a air cool chiller which is uh, big in size for example i'll show you the image of chiller at the time of chapter 5 assume at this level just assume it's a big equipment if you're not aware of this and with with the load of say 1000 or 2000 or plus kgs that means it is going to be in tons so if you want to place this heavy uh, equipment on the roof the structure must design accordingly no? so according to that uh, the structure people will take care or uh, to bear the load so and one more point here what do you think uh, this wall is a load on the building or uh, will bear the load of the building no no it's not bear the load of the building mm -hmm. it's, uh, it, it, it wall is, itself is a load on the building no? and you see this definition is for the common walls but now in market we have a a uh, standard or we have a uh, special construction with the concrete walls and the concrete wall is a structure member not the architectural member we have some special type of design in in actual practice uh, in in present market you'll find the concrete walls and the concrete wall is not a struck architectural member it's a structural member which is used to bear the load of the building okay so you may find this this type of construction also it's a it's a new as uh, as per my information so remember uh, wall always not a load it can be can bear the load also as per the type type of construction in the modern construction now in market <laughs>